so welcome back guys um today we'll be just focusing on how to create um view composition api and i'll be showing you guys a short um lesson on how to do that uh, on this um uh, on this chapter <laughs> so let's get into that so first of all we have our uh, our terminal right here and what we need to do is basically go ahead and run um view command to actually um create our project which should basically be npm init view at latest and then hit the enter key and then we ask us what's the project name over here we just say flute yeah just want to name it flute not too much and then ask us to add typescript i will say yes um jss support i will say yes um view router for single page application i will say yes uh let's basically add pinia for state management i'll say no uh write text for unit testing no we don't need unit testing and also end to end testing at the moment we don't need it no and um add es link for code quality um we we don't actually need it so you can actually go ahead and say no or yes but i'll say no and then our project is done so next is basically we go ahead and cdn cdm not c no cd yeah cd into the um repository um we are going to open this on our um vs code by running code dots to actually open up this in our vs code and here we have it next is to basically go ahead and run npm install npm install and this will install all the packages that we actually need to run our full um, project. Let's wait for this to actually finish up. So let's see why is it taking time okay yeah yeah we're done so next is basically going here and run the first um code to actually see what we have there because whenever you actually bootstrap um any project especially view or any other project you also have a a dummy um yeah let's actually go into that copy this paste it in here and yeah we have our view our view team um, project currently showing up here so we don't need this so we go ahead and start setting up everything for first of all go into your source directory open up your component so what we want to do in here is to create the two component that we need which in this case we have the shared component the view and next is the parent component Parent component the view and once we have these two components showing up here uh, we can actually go ahead and start um, pasting in our code for shared um, um, for shared component so we created the two files we need so let's go ahead and copy paste some code I have it somewhere so I'm not going to type it um, from the beginning so I'll just basically copy and paste it so we can actually speed up the development um i'm gonna see just don't worry i'm going to explain the whole stuff to you guys so no need to worry about this so yeah i got the code code that we need for our shared component pasted in here and i also actually go give you guys a quick intro to it so here is our template file um template section and inside our template section we have a div as a single parent in here and inside the div we have multiple children which one is an htm tag for that's basically say this is a shared component the second one is a paragraph tag with a computed um data in here and also we have a list on under the list to actually display all our shared data items next we have a a duplicate um um item here that basically shows all, all the duplicates within our list and we are if you can actually remember from our um from the course 
uh, from the article I actually wrote where I'm written about this. So I was talking about duplicates um, function here, which I'm going to show you guys how to create this. So basically what this function does is a, a composable function that actually um, runs whenever there's a change in the child data and it actually, it actually gives us back the duplicates it founds inside the child data whenever it runs. So this is basically the child data and actually give us back the duplicate and here we are displaying the duplicate and next we have an, an other list again that basically displays all the duplicate also which is actually good and we have an input field to receive the inputs from the user and also a button to actually um, be able to um, add the or the input to the array next we have an interface if you are familiar with typescript this is how you display with if the, we create an interface um basically a type and also we have our inject api based to inject data from the parent and we have um shy data like i said we have a composable function in here custom composable function and we have a computed uh, function in here and we have a function to add items to the um arrays and then we have a wash function wash api to actually wash whenever there is a change in the shy data and we actually sort all the shy data in here basically we are sorting the shy items from um based on the alphabet and then we are displayed back on the screen um that's basically what we have in here so next we actually have to do something on the parent component i'm going to copy the code and uh, the code and paste it in here um let's see yeah there we go so these are parent data so the same stuff we have on the child um component nothing much nothing changed um just a few um stuff that we actually removed so we also over here we are adding the child component we are importing it in here we are also displaying the um parent data items in here inside the unordered list and we're using a computed function to display the length like we did in the child component right in here and once that is done over here we have our parent data our computed data um, property and provide provide api that we're using to pass data down to each children which in this case these are the children that it has at the moment uh, this child is actually getting access to the parents data from this inject api and then last but not the least we have a mounted function um mounted life cycle um function that basically um being called whenever the um this um component is being created and finally mounted on the screen and what we are doing that is when this is called we are appending or basically pushing a, a the first items that we want to be on the list but in this case for the parents data only the the child will not will not actually see this um but only on the parents list that this will actually show up and we have a simple csx right in here i think that's it and next we should be able to see how this is working right in here so so actually be able to do that what i need to do because right here we already have a dummy um, project creator so i need to go into the router and since i want to show this on the about section um i prefer to rename this to say flutes then add view to it so i name this flutes view and i will just copy the name go ahead and save this hit ok and once this is saved next what i need to do is basically go to router so i can be able to find this we change this this is pointing to a bad view we change it to free to view next this path that we have here i'll just change it to be something like flutes view and also the name change it to flutes view i think that's all we need go ahead and save and next we go back to our inside our app the view this router link we have here so we want this to route to this flutes view and change this to say flutes that's a quick change we need there you can actually see all these changes taking place what else do we need to do so i think that's it or oh, we are missing any other stuff so see 
I don't think so. So the next stuff, I will go into the flow to view and I will import the parent data, parent component in there. So I can actually be able to see without importing it, without importing the parent component, we can see it. So let's go ahead and do that. So this, here we go. So I'm going to copy this, paste this in. You can actually see our import for parent component. Go ahead and save this. And if you try to run this, we have actually not imported it very well. We need to add the import um, statement to actually import everything that we need. And that we, for that, we need to add a script at the top. Just kind of bring in all the code that I have somewhere so I can actually speed this up. There you go. So we are importing this right now. We actually need to do the same for um, where we actually imported the child component inside the parent somewhere right here. Uh, okay, we already have that in here. So let's go ahead and save this and run the code. Okay, it's already live. So tap over here. Um, okay, the child component of view from parent does not file does not exist. Um, okay, let's make sure that this actually. Um, so our child component. Let's make sure we actually have the same stuff. So it's better C H I L D C O. Okay, we call it components. Okay, we needed to add the S at the back. I think that we fix this. Mm. Oh yeah, I forgot to actually add a custom hook. So we also need to add a custom hook too. Um, if you could remember, we actually created a custom hook, in, hook inside the shard component right in here. So this is the shard component. Yeah, this use duplicate hook. So how to do that? So I'm going to create a folder right inside source directory, and the folder name is going to be called custom hooks. And inside a custom hook, so we got. I will first of all let's create the folder. There's the folder. And in there, I'm going to create a custom hook file. And you're going to, it's going to be a TypeScript file type. Dot .tx. There you go. And I'm going to copy the code over. 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 So there we go. So we have this. So I'm going to save this. So this is the use duplicate um, um, composable function we created that basically returns a duplicate from an array back to us so once we have this i think we should be able to rerun everything we have here and get this to work okay yeah now this is working um except i need to fix some stuff here for the styling you can see that the styling is having some issues so I'll just copy some code and that should be inside fruit view replace what we have here with this that I copied and there you go so everything looks good you can actually see the first item on the list like I said on the parent on the parent component the first item we are pushing is a mango flute and there you can actually see that on the parent and it doesn't show up on the child so let's go ahead and add another flute let's say we add um, water watermelon and once we add, click the add button see watermelon is added here and watermelon is added on the side as the first item and right now there's no duplicate you can actually go ahead and add another one called guava i'm not sure if this is the right spinning but yeah it's actually flutes and you can actually this is actually also um sorting this element based on the raters and all those stuff so there you go and if you can actually remember the sorting is is only on the child component and not on the parent component so i just want to show you guys different stuff we are doing and uh, okay thank you guys for watching and this brings us to our conclusion today on composition api in vue.js and i hope you guys learned a lot have a nice day and see you guys next time thank you